Hello, baseball fans, and welcome. All set to bring you MLB The Show's Game of the Week. The Atlanta Braves and the San Diego Padres. Joined by my partner, Chris Singleton, I'm John Chambi. So the Atlanta Braves have taken the first two games of this series, and today they'll go for the sweep. They played well, Chris, and they're looking for more of the same in this one. Yeah, they've been the side shaking hands on the field after each game so far. Played solid baseball to earn those wins, as you said, but every game offers up its own unique challenges. So we'll see what those are today, but there's always a little extra motivation when you have an opportunity to sweep a series. All right, we'll be back to get this one started after this. Just about set to go. Today's starting pitcher, Noah Syndergaard. He's been a very solid pitcher throughout his career. ERA around three and a half. What I like is he competes, he stays in the game, and he gives his team an opportunity to win. That's towards center. Grisham settles under it. Makes the catch, and there's one gone. Vaughn Grissom next up for the Braves. Three for eight in the series coming in. That misses. One and oh. Syndergaard, a former All-Star. He features a sinker, a slider, a changeup, a four-seamer, no, and occasionally mixes in the slur. And a pitch. Good eye right there. And there's ball four. Well, he tried to nibble right there and just missed his spot. Hitter didn't offer at it. Now he has somebody to worry about over at first. And here is Ronald Acuna Jr. And the first pitch misses for ball one. So, Boog, you're the fashion police. What do you got on Ronald Acuna and the way that he accessorizes the uni? Oh, Siggy, I dig it. The Braves' base color is red and blue, but he adds the yellow. It kind of represents the Venezuelan flag, the country that he hails from. There's a 1-1. Swings through that one. One and two, count. Got him swinging. Couldn't catch up to the heater. Here's Austin Riley. Two for eight in the series so far. First pitch, and he just misses. And a swing and a miss. Oh, well, that's that slurf right there. He threw it extremely well. He talked about just a ton of breaks. So tough to get that barrel to. On the ground to first, Cronenworth steps on the bag, and the inning is over. Here's Manny Machado. The big lefty turns, kicks, deals. This one smoked out to left. And it's caught for the out. Now it's Nick Senzel. And that is in for a strike. And it's 0-1. And, Kicks and fires. Swing and a miss. Struck him out. Pulled the string on the changeup. Juan Soto now. He had him out in front, which isn't easy to do against a hitter like this, known for using the entire field. Just couldn't sit back long enough on that one. Just so sound in his mechanics. Hits against a firm front side, and the hands just continue to carry through the middle of the field. Fernando Tatis Jr. stands in now and watches strike one. That's in there, and it's one and two. Three straight gold gloves for Freed in 2020, 2021, and 2022. Yeah, he's got a ways to go to catch Greg Maddox, who had a total of 18 in his career, 13 consecutive gold gloves. Hit hard, that gets through. Everything came together perfectly for him right there. Just a cookie down the middle. I mean, those are the ones you dream about. The ones in the cage, you're just hoping you get in the ball game. Right down the middle, not a whole lot of velocity. Right on top of it. Next offering is in for a strike. Well, the best way to shake off yesterday's struggles is to get on the board. 
Now this one is smoked down the left field line. On its way, but it's fair. Out of here. Third home run of the season, and they take the lead. It's 3-0. He absolutely crushed that one. No doubt about that one, Boo. We knew it wasn't coming back. Looks like this guy was looking out over the plate, but he was ready to turn on the inside fastball. So direct to the pitch, absolutely blasted out of this ballpark. Now it's Matt Carpenter. Swings through that one. 0-1. Oh Two down, nobody on. In the dirt. To first, and that will end the inning. But the big blow of the inning comes right here. A three-run homer. It's now 3-0. We head to the second in MLB The Show. Back here at Petco Park. New inning getting started. So now to the plate for Atlanta. Matt Olson. Swing and a miss. No ball. As One he was three. out front that time. In there at the knees. And it's nothing in two. No ball. Two strikes. Left-hand batter waits. That one ran oh. inside, almost got him. The one-two. In the dirt. And quickly oh. one away in the second. Here's Marcelo Zuna. Comes into this one with more homers than anyone in the National League. And he grounds one back up the middle. In plenty of time to first. Play is made, two out. Two out, space is empty. And now Teoscar Hernandez. Ripped into right field, base hit. And now it's Travis Darno with the play. Hitless and four at bats yesterday. Swing and a miss. 0-1. One. One, one note on Travis Darno. He was drafted by the Philadelphia Phillies in the first round. Twice he was traded for Cy Young Award winners. Roy Halladay as he moved from the Phillies to the Jays. And then on from the Jays. And there's the third out. That'll do it for the inning bottom of the inning and here's the first baseman Jake Cronenworth and takes oh, low for low. ball one some background on Max Freedy grew up in Los Angeles he pitched his high school ball at Harvard Westlake and he was teammates there with Jack Flaherty and Lucas Giolito in the air left field Hernandez settles underneath it hauls it in and there's one away now it's Trent Grisham to the plate. First ball. offering misses the mark. One ball, no strike. Yeah. And that's through there for a strike. One and one. Next offering that's misses. Ball. ball two. Foul ball there. Bounce that off to the left, and we'll do it again. The pitch. On the ground. And it's through for a hit. So they get a man aboard with a one-out single. Runner on at first with one gone. Luis Campusano, the next up for the Padres. And Acuna able to make the grab. So the batting order turns over. Manny Machado, the next up for the Padres. And a base hit right there. And now they'll have runners on the corners with two away. 
Well, no waiting around right there. He was ready to swing it on the first pitch. Challenged him with the fastball right in the heart of the zone, and he was clearly ready to jump all over it. Senzel batting for the second time, and that's strike one. In the air, left field, down the line. He's there. He's got it. And that'll do it. Back here in San Diego on to the third inning. There's the shortstop at the play. Orlando Arcia. Cindergard back to work. Ball one there. Arcia getting to start at shortstop, getting ninth in today's lineup. And he was born in Venezuela. And it's fouled away. And it is two and one. Two one. Swings through that. Two and two, Vicout. Here's a two two. That's foul off to the right side. Keeps the A-B going. Grounder off the pitcher. Kim with the throw to first. Just got him on that one. Back to the top of the lineup. Michael Harris, the next to hit. That yeah. one's in there. Strike one. And a swing and a miss. No ball, two strikes. That one down the line, that's and that's just foul. The line to kick the pitch. Gets a piece, and it stays 0-2. One down, base is empty. Stays alive. Left-hand hitter waits. And a swing and a miss. Two up, two down. Oh, well, there he gets the slider in on his hands, and it just eats him off. You know, it's hard to get the bat around on a pitch like that in tight. You just feel like you're crowded on the inside oh, part of the plate. Can't get any extension. That's what he definitely should have laid off of. Oh, and two as he waves oh, at that one. I'll tell you this. That's going to go on that pitcher's highlight reel. Foul ball still 0 and 2. And now oh, 1 yeah. and 2. Swing and a ground ball up the middle. That's a base hit. Really nice job of two strike hitting in that at bat. Just kept it simple. Played Pepper with the middle of the infield and took it back where it came from. And there's just no one there to knock it down. And now it's Ronald Acuna Jr. Now he can't squeeze it behind the plate. And an excellent job keeping it right there. Come on, the 1-0. And another ball. He's clearly trying to work him away here. Both Doing pitches up. off the plate. If you really want to put the ball in play, you're going to have to stay back and drive it to the opposite field. That one ripped. And that ball is out of here. He'll touch them all. His 12th of the season, and they close the gap. It's 3-2. They needed that one, Singy. Indeed they did. They've been fighting to get back into this game, and just like that, they're back in it. A good hitter gets pitch recognition early. He saw exactly where that was going to be. The challenge, not get over anxious and come out of your swing. He stayed on it and got all of it. Two outs, nobody on. Austin Riley, next up for the Braves. Line drive, base hit. Everything oh, came right together right for him. Line. That pretty the much split base. the zone down the middle, yeah, yeah. and those are the ones where you got to make them pay. 
Matt Olson up to the plate. That just misses. And that is ball one. Olson, a multi gold glove award winner, 30 years old. Oh, that got him. So, Boog, if you had to take one for the team, where would you want to get hit? Chris, I think I'd have to say upper hamstring. Ozuna swings through it for strike one. Out towards right center field. Tatis after it. Makes a nice running catch. And that'll do it. Braves pick up two on the long ball. It's now a 3-2 ball game. Back after this on the show. Ready to go for the last half of the inning. Stepping in for San Diego, Juan Soto. There's a sinker at the knees for a strike. Well, after scoring runs, this is where you're looking for that shutdown inning. Get that hot team back in there to swing the bats. Got him looking for the K. Well, he made pretty quick work of him right there. You look at the sequence, everything down at the knees and below. And some guys are good low ball hitters, but right there, they clearly had a plan to pound that part of the zone, and he wasn't able to put up much of a fight. Swing and a miss, and that's strike okay. two. We talk so much about how starting pitchers prepare for their starts. I talked with Max Fried, and one of the things he no, told me back ball. in 19, he and Lucas Giolito started using MLB The Show to go over scouting reports. Ground ball, left side. On the run, throw to first. And they take care of Tatis for the out. So two down now, and here is Hassan Kim. There's a strike. Max said he's not sure who actually started at first, but it was 2019, and he and Giolito, who were teammates together in high school in Los Angeles, they had the idea to become more familiar with the opposing lineup using MLB The Show. Foul ball, it stays nothing in two. The pitch. Slow roller to third gathers and throws to first inning over and welcome back as we go to the top of the fourth here's Teoscar Hernandez and that's outside, no, that's outside. you know these Braves did a great job Boog of just waiting for the right pitch to come their way and I'm seeing very patient bats out of them they're doing a good job of working the pitch count and they've been able to push a couple of runs across the score as well over to first and one gone in the fourth as they get the leadoff man Tarno now in the box comes up empty with a swing there he's pitching well but not throwing a ton of first pitch strikes usually doesn't work out for success but you can never predict baseball deal two one two straighten him up a little bit the one two in the dirt. Throw over to Cronenworth. Two quick outs here in the top of the four. Got him swinging on that pitch away to finish him off, but everything early in the at bat was in tight. Really challenged him in there with some competitive pitches, not letting him get his hands extended, but of course that eventually opens up the outside part of the plate, and he just wasn't able to adjust. Bounce to the left side. Machado throws the first in time and that bottom of the fourth and now the DH Matt Carpenter and there's a strike next offering is in for a strike no ball two strikes just misses the mark outside the zone That's hard hit on the line. Harris racing over to make the catch. Man, that's one of those at bats where you have to remind yourself it's about the process. He did everything right right there. Ah. Nothing to show for it. But in your mind, you have to convince yourself that it was a very good at bat. And he's down 0-2 as he two. swings through it. Well, it was bumpy in the early going for the lefty. But he settled into a really nice that's groove. The next offering misses. 
And a count one and two. Swing and a miss. Struck him out. Couldn't hit the fastball at the knees. Really love the pitch sequence right there. I'm telling you what, pitcher and catcher on the same page right now. Grisham oh, takes low, second trip to the plate in this one. On the ground to the left. Whips it across. That takes care of Grisham. The wind of the pitch. That one missed. Oh. You know this guy's great speed is in the back of that pitcher's mind. If he can get on, it's going to give him one more thing he's got to think about. This one high in the air to left center. Soto going after it. Makes the catch. One down. He's been going after these guys consistently, and as a result, he's been able to keep his pitch count low. Throwing the ball very well right now. Grissom at the play for the third time as he comes up empty there. Talk about tying a guy up. That was ugly. Swings and misses. And that is strike two. Swing and a ball popped up. Senzel makes the catch. And there's two away. And here is Ronald Acuna Jr. He's already homered in this game. On the ground to third. Can't glove it cleanly. Not in time. Great effort, but it's an infield hit. So two down, Austin Riley will hit next. One for two. That one hit to right. Tatis makes the play, and it's out number three. We head to the bottom of the fifth, and now Luis Campusano. In there at the knees, that's strike one. You know, these Padres, simply put, are producing a lot of quality swings. They've hit seven line drives already, and even though some of them have been for outs, there's nothing wrong with delivering consistent, hard contact. Ball, that's, that's almost down. always going to lead to positive results. Here's a one-two. Gets a piece there. We'll do it again. Got him looking. And that's the first out in the bottom of the fifth. Here's Machado. And he flips a breaking ball in there or a changeup. Either one. <laughs> Something off speed. Good arm action on it. Whatever it was. Swing and a miss. And a count is 0-2. Ground ball up the middle. That's a base hit. One down. Nick Senzel, the next up for the Padres. And first offering is fouled off. Machado, the base runner at first with one out. The other way, and foul ball. Got him swinging for the strikeout. Couldn't catch up to the heater. Here's one Soto. Clips the outside corner, going one. Do you love the Soto shuffle? Yes, I do. I think it's a little uh, little flair, a little flash at first. Maybe uh, seen as arrogant, but I think uh, that... Ah, that ends the inning, so we take a break. Welcome back. Here's Matt Olson. Cindergaard back to work. Out there to center. Grisham settles under it. Pulls it in for the out. Well, on the mound, very efficient. Able to produce an outcome, it seems like, within the third or fourth pitch of just about every at bat. And look out. That, that one gets him. The second man he's plunked in this one. He seems to have lost a little bit of focus on executing that pitch right there, not staying through the target, and clearly not the release point he wanted. Well, Hernandez, the next to hit, takes ball one. Next offering is in for a strike. One run game, one out, one on. Line drive. 
And it stays fair. Around second on his way to third. Lead runner holds at third. So two runners in scoring position and just one out. Now just a nice job coming through in a pretty high leverage spot right there. Pitch was away and he did exactly what you're supposed to do with it. Drive it the other way. Just go with the pit. That one the other way. Base hit. Now a long throw home. It's offline. The run comes in. Back even. It's 3-3. Three, three. Back to back base hits. Showed a willingness to drive that pitch the opposite way. Didn't get jumpy. Didn't try to pull the ball. He let it get deep. Took the barrel right to it and then extended through the swing for the line drive. New arm out of the bullpen. Chris Paddock. The offense will need to be ready for the breaking stuff. He's got a great curveball. Here's Orlando Arcia. High fly ball out of the left center field. Snags it on the run. Runner tags from third. Throw is offline, and he scores. It's 4-3. There you go. Nice little RBI there. It's a great at bat. Got the job done. So the lineup flips over. Michael Harris next up for the Braves. And that one wrapped foul. Paddock, 28 years old. And he was drafted in the eighth round back in 2015. And that one pulled foul. The 0-2. And that's outside. Double-barreled action in the bullpen. Reese Kinnear up and throwing. Avila getting cranked up as well. Out to center. Kim on the move. Pulls it in on the run. And that ends the inning. Back here at Petco Park. And the batter will be Fernando Tatis Jr. That one catches the corner. Well, after putting up a nice inning on offense, got some runs across, this is where you look for the starter to go out there, have a shutdown inning. Don't give that other team any hope. Uh, you just hope that he can get through this inning, get the bats back up there while they're hot. And they take care of Tatis for the out. And a foul ball. Kim, in his fourth year, 28 years old. And he's a native of South Korea. Trying to punt his way on. To first, and he beats him. That's exactly how he wanted to drop down that bond. He just did a great job of catching the baseball with his bat and putting it where the defense had a hard time making a play. Could be a huge moment in this game as it puts the tying run on base. Comes up empty on the swing. 0-2 now. Knocks that one away, and we'll do it again. Here's the 0-2. Got him swinging. It's a strikeout. He swung over top of the curveball. Oh, this guy's been pretty much a non-factor so far this weekend. Very little in the way of impactful at bats and quality at bats, and let alone contact. That's the sixth time they've set him down on strikes in the series. So no doubt, frustration mounting and very high right now. The 1-1 one -one is fouled off. No, no base hits in the series for him so far, and it's clearly been a rough one. You just hope he's not pressing too hard because that just compounds things. It makes the slump even longer. Never seemed to help. Never helped me. And a swing and a miss. That's it. Back here at the ballpark. All set for the start of the inning. Now in for the Braves. Vaughn Grissom. And a pitch. And there's a ball. Wow. You know, these Braves, digging into their numbers, have to be happy with the swings they're taking. We've already seen eight line drives from them, and it's always a good sign when the ball is jumping off your bat. And that's what this offense has been doing so far today. And that's down a base hit. So a runner aboard to start the inning. Hitting is really easy for some guys. One thing that I can see already, his bat stays in the zone on plane for an extended period of time. And guys like that, they have a high contact rate and they have more barrels because of that bat being on plane. And even when you don't get it great, it's still hit hard enough to dunk something in like that in front of the center fielder. And here it comes. Foul ball. On the ground to third. Over to Kim. One. 
How about that double play? I think there's always something pretty about watching a 5-4-3 double play get turned. I mean, just seeing the ball whipped around the diamond with quickness and accuracy, that was nice. Riley at the plate with two away, oh swings through that one. Yeah, I don't think anyone's got good numbers swinging at pitches in that location. 0-2 oh as he waves oh at that one. Man, this has been a real important inning in relief. I mean, so far, they've been doing a great job holding that deficit at one. Next right offering in the dirt. Now one and two. That one 95 to finish him off. Bottom of the seventh. Here's the center fielder, Trent Grisham. Up the middle. Oh, he gloves it. Save! Couldn't have timed it up any better than that. First pitch fastball in a great spot to do some damage, and he squared it up nicely. And now a chance to maybe get creative on offense with good speed on first. Grisham gets his lead at first with nobody out. Next offering is in for a strike. Cuts and misses. It's a strikeout. Here's Manny Machado now. Rip to first. Caught! Man, that could have been a big swing in this game. Just unlucky at a really unfortunate time right there. Senzel in the box now. Takes strike one. Edge of the zone for a strike, and it's 0-2. Typically, the outfield defense will play a little bit deeper just to keep the ball in front, make sure that runner on first doesn't come all the way around to score and tie this ball game up. Hacks and misses. It's a strikeout. They get a lead. Ready to begin the eighth, and now Matt Olson up to hit. And the right hater back to work. And that one is ball. inside ball one. One ball, no strike. A little out front there as he swings ball, through no it. Man, he really sells the changeup with that arm action. Next pitch no, inside, that's, that's and a count two and one. And there's a rocket into the outfield. Takes the turn. He's digging for second. And he'll get there with a double to lead off the eighth. All over that one right there. Nice job of driving that pitch the other way on a line. You know, hitters, they take so many reps in the cages working on going to the opposite field. And it doesn't always translate into the game. But right there it did. And he did it perfectly. He swings and fouls one off. Swing and a miss. Going to count one and two. Runner at second. Nobody out. This one in the dirt, and the runner stays where he is. Two two now. Good job to fight that one off. Two two on the way. Spoils the two strike pitch and he'll see another. The two two. And there's a base hit to left. Soto gets it back in quickly, and that's good enough to hold the lead runner at third. Runners now at the corners. And next for Atlanta, Teoscar Hernandez. And he swings and misses, and it's nothing at all. In the infield at the corners, don't be surprised to see them come home first and prevent that run from scoring. And it's one and one. Got it by him for the K. 
So he needed a strike out there, and he got it. And now we'll see how they play it defensively. Yeah, now they can move the middle infielders back a little bit, get into double play. Ground ball left side could be two. Over to Kim. One. And that's two. On to the bottom of the eighth. So digging in now for San Diego, Juan Soto. And he pumps it a strike. Well, Boog, after watching the first inning of this one, you would not have expected that this pitcher would be in such a groove and still in the ball game at this point. Next offering is downstairs. And now two and two. He's trying to stay down in the zone, but the hitter just will not chase. Now back in a 2-2 count, he's going to have to go to something else to get him out. And that just misses. The wind of the pitch. Swings and misses, struck him out. Pretty big strikeout right there to start this eighth inning. Down one, any leadoff base runner really makes this inning a bit more interesting. But now this offense has to switch from possibly trying to manufacture a run to needing to run into something or just try to string multiple hits together to get a run across the plate. Next offering is in for a strike. Popped up. Grissom. Now the throw to first on the run. And that quickly, two away. The second base. So up next, Hassan Kim. That one rip, but foul. The tying run at the plate. Out towards left center. Hernandez makes the catch, inning over. Three up. We go to the ninth. So now to the plate for Atlanta. Orlando Arcia. Swing and a miss. Strike one. one. The pitch. Hard hit down the line and left. That skips over the fence, so it's an automatic double. Back to the leadoff spot in the Braves lineup. Michael Harris now at the plate. Out to short. Sneaks through. Base hit. Arcia around third. The throws offline. He's safe. It's 5-3. Two consecutive base hits for these guys here. Just a simple ground ball the other way. They had eyes on it, man. Sometimes that's all you need to do. Just let the ball travel, put the ball in play, and just hope it finds a hole. Now in for the Braves, Vaughn Grissom. He was the big part of the field last time. Nice liner to center. He's going, he's going, Here's the pitch. Runner on the move. Ball outside. Throw to third. Save. That wasn't close. When a guy's got that kind of lead at second base, somebody's got to call a timeout. Pitcher's got to step off. The catcher's got to ask the ump for time or something. You can't let him get out that far. When you don't have a good thrower behind the plate, he's going to steal third almost standing up. That's a really good job of being aggressive by the base runner. And now the count is even. You see how the catcher wanted that pitch up and in. Want to try to tie him up. That's the one thing we're seeing, that high fastball. You have to get it up there because of how hitters have changed their swings. That's a base hit. Run scores. Stringing them together. That's three hits in a row. Everything was on time and fluid in that swing. Got a pitch he could get the barrel on and lined it in the center for the knock. Those always feel good. Here's Ronald Acuna Jr. at the plate. He's already homered here in this one. On the ground, could be two. Machado, toss to second, on the first double play. Austin Riley, next up for the Braves. Next pitch is popped up. Cronenworth, moving under this one. Brings it in for the third out. 
We head to the bottom of the ninth. Now it's the DH, Matt Carpenter. And that one hit to first. And he takes it himself for the out. That's what a good sinker is designed to do. Get a guy to roll over a little bit, hit the ball on the ground, kill some worms while you're at it. Cronenberg batting with one down, takes a strike. Slap the other way, foul. The pitch. Swing and a miss, and he is down on strikes for the third straight at bat. And there's another strikeout, and those are just continuing to pile up. His confidence level has got to be dropping. He's got to find a way to make an adjustment, Boop. On the first, ball game. And the Braves come in here and finish off a three-game sweep. It seemed like from the first pitch of this ball game, this guy was going to get it done. A quality start, who knew? He'd throw a complete game and get the victory. But an excellent job of continuing to just throw what the catcher put down. He navigated through this ball game with jam here, a jam there, but ultimately it was an outstanding outing. 6-3 our final score. And the road team picks up the win and picks up a sweep. For Chris Singleton and our entire outstanding crew here at MLB The Show, I'm John Chomby saying so long.